Hello, we are broadcasted from in the basement at an undisclosed location. One hour of work. What have you earned? I mean, really, what is that hour worth? How do you quantify that? How do you measure that? Is there a true, correct scale to weigh your effort? One that accounts for all the factors, all the minutia, the willpower, the tunnel vision, the strain of putting aside the thoughts that have sprung into the mind the second that you opened your eyes that morning. How do you measure that? One hour of effort, what is it worth? Follow me in a thought experiment. Think of a job, any job, skilled, unskilled, professional, seasonal, any job. Now hold that thought. Picture that job, your dream job. Hold that image in your head. Did you find it? I'll wait. Excellent. Now, for argument's sake, I'll put a price on that hour. A fair price. A more than fair price. For one hour of pay, for that job, you will be paid one cotton t-shirt. Now, we are getting somewhere. We have your dream job. We have compensation. Now, this might seem to be low pay for some and a lot for others. That is not important now. This is only a thought experiment. On a beautiful morning, this beautiful morning, and yes, this morning was beautiful, do you know how I know? Because you woke up. Imagine this morning, you woke up fed and energized from your sleep. You had a breakfast, or as I do, you skipped your breakfast and went out to work your dream job. You did what you aspire to do. You worked one hour, one single hour. You then punched out, waved goodbye to your co-workers and went home. You worked one hour that day, one single hour. Maybe you were a brain surgeon and read some MRI scans. Maybe you walked a dog as a dog walker. Maybe you cut someone's hair. Maybe you taught a class of 30 doe-eyed children staring up in awe of you. Maybe you read a briefing on your client's case and set a date for his preliminary trial knowing that he had no way of being found not guilty. Maybe you jotted out the schematics for a residential building. Perhaps you made a presentation on the projected earnings during the next fiscal quarter. Maybe you laid down dimes, weld in the frame for a dock leveler. Perhaps you spent your time home with your children and fed and clothed them while your spouse went out to their job. Perhaps you served coffee as a barista or guarded the pool in a summer camp or were a manager. Perhaps you worked in logistics or served in the military or drove a semi, an Uber, a taxi, lift, any rideshare or bus, a tractor or a police car. Or perhaps you stood in line at the unemployment office or filled out the application for your employment insurance. All of these are respectable, commendable, laudable. They all require effort, dedication, and a can-do attitude regardless of the position. Regardless. Irregardless effort is effort and I salute every one of you. Now back to our thought experiment. What have you earned for this one hour? This one hour of effort. A t-shirt. A t-shirt. A simple t-shirt. Is that fair? Is that reasonable? Did you earn more or less? Or is it of equal compensation? Let us peel back the layer of this onion. Let us look at the t-shirt. Forget a brand name, a logo, the manufactured scarcity and social hierarchy distinction that makes a brand like Gucci cost a small fortune. This is a t-shirt, a simple t-shirt, the cheapest one on the rack. One hour in compensation. 
Is that fair pay? Honestly, ask yourself, is it fair? Are you being underemployed? Are you being exploited? Taken advantage of? Set upon and bamboozled? Is it fair for a simple t-shirt? A simple t-shirt? According to market prices. It is unfair, Cam Hammond. I agree. It is unfair. What does it take to make a t-shirt? Great question. A single t-shirt takes 2,700 liters of water. 2,700 liters of water. Imagine that. What would that look like? Now imagine that it takes 17 teaspoons of fertilizers and a single teaspoon of active ingredients, pesticides, herbicides, insecticides, and defoliants. Now, the cotton used in that t-shirt requires planting. This is done with precision planters or by oxen. Beast of burden, it then takes cotton seedlings a week or two after planting to emerge from the soil depending on temperature moisture conditions. Squares or flower buds form a month to six weeks later and a creamy to dark yellow blossoms appear in another three weeks. Pollen from the flower stamen is carried to the stigma, thus pollinating the ovary. Over the next three days, the blossoms gradually turn pink and then dark red before falling off, leaving the tiny fertile ovary attached to the plant. It ripens and enlarges into a pod called a cotton bowl. It takes around 300 to 350 of these bowls just for one t-shirt. It then has to be manufactured and then delivered to you. Now back to that hour. Your one hour of work. Recall it. Remember the value you put on that hour. Remember that price. Remember it wasn't enough for you. You were being ripped off or so you felt. Now remember. It takes 65 to 75 days for cotton to grow from seed to flower, 75 days of life. And it takes hundreds upon hundreds of cotton bowls to make your t-shirt, as well as planting, fertilizing, and a staggering amount of water, and manufacturing, and transportations. I agreed earlier, it was not a fair price. One hour for one t-shirt, it was not a true weight in compensation. Regardless of your job, whatever you do is too little to compensate for such a gift. We are subsidized and blessed with the planet that gives freely. And we are so very ungrateful, so very myopic, solipsistic. If we only knew what it truly cost for one t-shirt, perhaps we would be satisfied instead of miserable in a race to accumulate in which we have no understanding of true value. Put on your favorite t-shirt and realize you can't afford it. It is a gift. It is a treasure. I'm not going to